I'm Amy Lindberger, and this is Park Bench of Truth, a filmed improv exercise featuring improvisers not about improv. So today I am talking to Amy Gerlich. You may know her as a co-founder and creator of the improv structure The Crump, having just celebrated the five-year anniversary of Indie Cage Match at UCB East as a host, sold out classes on improv training hub, and pretty soon she has an improv card game coming out later this year. So. Today, none of that matters. We're just gonna have an honest conversation about whatever we get on the suggestion app, and that is going to be bait. Bait? B-A-I-T. It makes me think of, um, I mean, obviously it makes me think of fishing. Sure. And um, moments I've had with fishing. Do you fish a lot? No, 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 no. I did when I was, um, like with my grandfather. Okay. He was a big ocean fisher, so we would go out on the ocean. Oh, yeah. And fish, which was really fun, but I was very young. I've never been into fishing, and I think it's because my neighbor growing up, one day she was like going fishing in like the local pond and got the hook like through her hand. <gasps> and I was like, this is not worth it. Uh, that reminds me of like the worst injury I've ever had, and it seemed so minute. I'm like, <laughs> so I was a mail room person, like I had my own mail room at like a company. Yeah. And, um, I didn't know that the little sponges with the water tubes was to do the envelopes. So for the first week, I was licking all Every of these envelopes. Every single one. Yeah, I was, I was, I was big dummy. But I, um, so I got a paper cut and a side <gasps> of my uh, lip or uh, yeah. yeah, lips uh, from scraping it down while I was licking an envelope. It was probably the worst. Ow. Worst injury I've ever felt because and it doesn't. Because like there's it nothing you can do. No, you, and you can't open your mouth. Which. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be thinking about that one for a while. Right. Because it makes me think of like the Joker. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, so bait. I mean, straight up made me think of fishing. Yeah, I think that that's typical. Bait. Yeah. I'm not a big fish. I want to be a fish person. I feel like I'm trying to change. I used to be a super picky eater. Yeah. Um, and I would eat like chicken fingers and like buttered noodles kind of thing. Sure, like, like no a sauce. Child. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then as I got older, I was like, oh, I'll start eating things out of like politeness because like you go to a neighbor's house and they like make you this and you don't want to say no. Yes. And I was like, I realized that I like food. <laughs> I did try to be a vegetarian when I was a kid. Oh yeah? For like hours. It was like a very short period of time. Yeah, no, I've never tried. Only because of Lisa Simpson. Oh yeah. I was like, I want to be like Lisa Simpson. And I think that night I went to McDonald's and my parents were like, what do you want? I was like, chicken nuggets. <laughs> and they were like, that's chicken. I was like, I great. Like, <laughs> yeah, on a bed of leaves. <laughs> oh, I love meat. I'm German though. So I think I, I just love Really, love meat. I love. Red I meat. really love meat. Yeah, I love eating meat. Have you had like weird gamey meat before? Um, I'm gonna kill that bird eater. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I've had any weird meat. Well, like the most, I guess, unusual meat I've had was last summer. I tried reindeer for the first oh, time, wow. and it was delicious. <laughs> it was so it was good. Like <laughs> <laughs> I would say reindeer made I honestly didn't know. And then I saw, like, literally the next day we went to, this was in Scandinavia, we went to, like, a zoo in their open-air museum, and it's all these reindeer going around. I was like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I just out with the bone air. Huh? I feel like there are certain things I don't eat because I've never tried them. I assume I don't like them. Uh, I tried pretty much everything, except mm -hmm. for, like, I have, like, a real aversion to weird textured foods, like, yeah. like beets. I don't oh, I wanna, like beets. I don't even want to try it. I don't even want to be around them. Okay. Asparagus. I love it. <laughs> the texture it's is good. so weird to but me. But that's interesting because you're a big like shellfish person, are you not? I do. I love crabs. And to crabs. me, that's a weird yeah. texture. Really? But I did just try crab cakes for the first time. But and, like, how were they? It. Were they like lumpy or was it like encased in like a breaded? But, like, no, yeah. you would freak oh, out crap. if you had a real lump really? crab cake. You would be like... Oh my god! It's because it takes hours to make. Someone has to like hand pick all the crab out, and then it's just like lightly put together, and it's just like a ball of crab. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I got right sick right. though when we, we went to City Island for our birthdays the other day. Yeah, we got this ridiculous platter called for cr for crab lovers, and it was <laughs> this big, and it had like eight different types of crab on it. And the next day, I was just like. I had like explosive poops, like the ones where you're just like, oh, this is happening, <laughs> like, it's happening, <laughs> and you just, you're running for it, 
and but like then, worth it, right? <laughs> I don't know. I oh. think I overcrabbed it. And then my stomach felt terrible. And then I like canceled a meeting, which I never do. Like even if I'm really sick. But if you know it's just going to like hit you, I wouldn't go anywhere either. I've definitely yeah. called out of things because I'm like, today is not the day. <laughs> uh, but wait, also real fast, I didn't know that you could have crab eight different kind of ways. I thought it was like crab right. cake or like. Break. Well, the, it was uh, <laughs> snow crab legs, like the giant ones that look like a giant hand. But do you break it? Those, yeah, the shell is a little bit softer than like blue crab. Okay. So, yeah, you break it and you pull it out. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It them? sounds gross. <laughs> so we had Dungeness crabs, which were these giant crabs, and they like stuffed them uh, with, with more. bread crumbs oh, and yeah. butter. And then Ooh. we had... Um, Soft shell crabs, mm -hmm. which are like you find that in sushi, but they literally just fry it with the shell and you eat it with the shell. All right. Which is a little weird to me. <laughs> That's the one I'm like, it's cool. <laughs> crab cakes. We had two crab cakes, which I did not like because it was the kind that you loved. <laughs> and then like tinier, not blue crab, but like tinier little crabs. Baby crabs. Yeah. And it was just, it got to a point where I was just like, I, I can't anymore. And we yeah. took food home and they had to give us one of those like platters. Weird. That sounds good. It was good. It was, but I but except for the out. next day. Yeah. For a while. Maybe take a crab break. <laughs> I think on that note, explosive poops and crabs. Yay. Probably going to edit this conversation. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching Park Bench of Truth. I'm Amy Berger. This is Amy Gerlich. And we'll get truthful again soon.